This time on Not Just a Geek Thing, I'll attempt to demystify how electrochemical sensors, such as the ones that our latest trailblazer Sam's product, Sensely, is based on, actually work. And I'll try to do this in under 60 seconds. Let's go. First of all, detection of toxic gases by electrochemical sensors is needed at the parts per million level. However, to actually monitor air quality, we require parts per billion sensitivity. Now, the basic components of electrode gas sensors are often an electrode, a counter electrode, and an ion conductor in between them. Hence, when toxic gas comes in contact with the working electrode, let's say carbon monoxide as an example, oxidation of this gas will occur. Electrochemical devices are built to measure a wide range of pollutants, including carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, and ozone. Many outdoor-based ones contain laser technology to detect particles from cars and lorries. And a GPS aerial allows air quality data and location to be mapped simultaneously. Now, the companies developing these methods need to use smart software tools to further separate local pollution from background signals and then calibrate sensors across networks. We're seeing some amazing advances in low-cost sensors that are enabling a new generation of these kind of air quality sensors, and I can't wait.